Hi there. My name is Erin Lohman, and I'm a staff psychologist at the Wichita State University Counseling and Testing Center. Thank you for joining us for the seventh session in our Mindfulness and Relaxation series. Today, we will be practicing a lake meditation. If you are new to mindfulness, consider listening to session one of our series, since a brief overview of mindfulness is provided there. This meditation is done in a lying or reclining position. Close your eyes or focus them on something non-distracting such as the wall or floor. Begin by paying attention to the actual sensations of contact and support you feel as you lie here. Notice where your body is making contact how your weight is distributed on the floor, bed, or recliner, actually sensing into your body, feeling your feet, your legs, hips, lower and upper body, arms, your shoulders, and your head. And when you are ready, Bring awareness to your breath, feeling each breath as it comes in and goes out. Letting the breath be just as it is without trying to change or regulate it in any way. Allowing it to flow easily and naturally with its own rhythm and pace. Knowing you are breathing perfectly well right now nothing for you to do, allowing a sense of being complete and whole in this very moment to wash over you, letting your breath be your breath. As you rest here, let an image form in your mind's eye of a lake. It can be large or small, held in a receptive basin by the earth itself, noting in the mind's eye and in your own heart that water likes to pool in low places. It seeks its own level, ask to be held, contained. Let this image gradually come into greater focus. Even if it doesn't come as a visual image, allow yourself to fully experience the sense of this lake, to feel its presence. The lake you're invoking may be deep or shallow, blue or green, muddy or clear. With no wind, the surface will be flat mirror-like, reflecting trees, rocks, sky and clouds, holding everything in itself momentarily. Wind may come and stir up the waves, causing the reflections to distort and disappear, but then sunlight may sparkle in the ripples and dance on the waves in a play of shimmering diamonds. When night comes, it's the moon's turn to dance on the lake, or when the surface is still, to be reflected in it along with the outline of trees and shadows. In the winter, the lake may freeze over yet still be teeming with movement and life below. As you rest here breathing, as you establish this image of a lake in your mind's eye, allow yourself, when you feel ready, to bring it inside yourself completely so that your being merges with the lake, becomes one with it so that all your energies in this moment are held in awareness with openness and compassion for yourself. 
much in the same way as the lake's waters are held by the receptive and accepting basin of the earth herself. Breathing as the lake, feeling its body as your body, allow your mind and your heart to be open and receptive, moment by moment, to reflect whatever comes near or to be clear all the way to the bottom, experiencing moments of complete stillness when both reflection and water are completely clear and experiencing other moments when perhaps the surface is disturbed and choppy and reflections and depth are lost for the moment. And through it all, as you lie here, simply observe the play of the various energies of your own mind and heart, the fleeting thoughts and feelings impulses and reactions which come and go as ripples and waves, noting their effects. Allow yourself to be in contact with them, just as you are in contact with the various changing energies that play on the lake, such as the wind, the waves, the light, the shadows and reflections, the colors and the smells. Noticing the effect of your thoughts and feelings. Do they disturb the surface and clarity of the mind's lake? Do they muddy the waters? Is that okay with you? Isn't having a rippling or wavy surface a part of being a lake? Might it be possible to identify not only with the surface of your lake, but with the entire body of water, so that you become the stillness below the surface as well, which at most experiences only gentle waves of movement, even when the surface is choppy and ragged. And in the same way, in your meditation practice and your daily life, consider whether you can be in touch, not only with the changing content and intensity of your thoughts and feelings, but also with the vast unwavering reservoir of awareness itself, residing below the surface of your mind. The lake can teach this, remind us of the lake within ourselves, If you find this image to be of value, you may want to use it from time to time to deepen and enrich your meditation practice. You might also invite this lake image to empower you and guide your actions in the world as you move through the unfolding of each day, carrying this vast reservoir of mindfulness within your heart. Dwelling here in the stillness of this moment, we can be the lake in silence now, affirming our ability to hold an awareness and an acceptance right now, all of our qualities of mind and body. Just as a lake sits held, cradled, contained by the earth, reflecting the clouds and sky, trees, birds and light, caressed by the air and the wind, which only bring out and highlight its sparkle, its vitality, its potential, moment by moment. So in the time that remains of this meditation, continue to sustain the lake meditation on your own, in silence, moment by moment, being the lake with its own storms and moments of peace.
It's now time for our meditation to end. When you are ready, go ahead and open your eyes. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed this meditation, consider giving some of our other sessions a try. Thanks again for listening. Have a wonderful day.